Hello and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today my illustration was based on Paul David Tripp's devotional New Morning Mercies and it is June 25th. And these beautiful plants are foxgloves and I absolutely adore them. And but I'm limited to how much I can grow because I have very little sun in my yard. And so the ones that I have growing in a little pocket of sun, I really adore. So I've always tried to keep them in one of the sunniest locations. But actually this year, I read somewhere that they could grow in full shade. So I put a couple of plants over in a full shade spot and they grew just great. So I'm kind of delighted and have plans to um, put some more of these into my full shade. Now the foxglove, you might have heard of its botanical name, is digitalis. And it's also used as a medicine for heart conditions. And they use the leaves uh, and dry them and extract medicine from them. Um, sometimes they say they're, they can be poisonous. And I guess maybe if you ate the leaves, they could be. But I've never run into that problem at all. But another very interesting fact is that these are called a biennial. And so it takes two years for these to grow into a flower. And the, after the flowers are spent, they develop into their seed pods. And when the seeds are done developing, the pod will pop open and the seeds will fall to the ground. And they'll grow into a short plant next year, but they won't flower and go into a stalk until the following year. So it's an every other year plant. And after it flowers, then it dies off. So it's a very interesting plant to grow. And I really enjoy it because it does grow into these beautiful tall stalks that emerge um, up over all the other growth. And usually they go to about four or five feet tall and they really stand up in the garden. Something happened this year though, that they're quite a bit shorter. I'd say they're only about three foot high. But every year, you just don't know what's going to happen in the garden and it's fun to see how different things develop. And often it's a reaction to the winter that it had, if it was a real harsh winter, or if it was a mild winter, or the year before if there was drought. There was a drought, lots of times trees and flowers produce huge amounts of seeds as a means of self-preservation. But as I said, these grow in tall stalks and I like to keep them in clusters, which is their natural growth because the seeds fall right around the base. And because they grow in such tall stalks, they need some kind of either natural or artificial support. And so I, they support each other if they're close together. And I like to plant lower shrubs or shrubbing plants all around them and that helps support them too because when they're so tall like that they become vulnerable to deer who notice them right away or to wind which can knock the tall stalk over or um, pounding rain that can knock them over too so I just am heartbroken when they do get knocked to the ground, but it's such a triumph when they are standing tall and straight next to each other. It's like soldiers standing at attention or 
a cluster of church steeples. It's really a beautiful sight. Today in his devotion, Paul Tripp has a great lesson on discouragement. And he says, don't be discouraged. God has you exactly where he wants you. He knows just how he will use what makes you afraid in order to build your faith. And then he sends us over to Joshua 1. And that verse is that wonderful verse that we all know. It's be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. And that just made me think of these foxgloves. And as they stand up so straight and tall with their heads held up high above all the other plants, what a lovely symbol of courage they are to me. So thank you for joining me at Mimi's Sketchbook. I hope this was an encouragement to you, and God bless.